Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. And it's Norm from Tested. We're at CES 2015. We're at a, a preview night basically for CES. And we're gonna look at something kind of cool. It's eye tracking for games. Norm, you're sitting in front of it right now. Yeah, so this company's called Toby, T-O-B-I-I. -I, and we've actually seen them at CES before. They uh, developed some eye tracking that was gonna be built into laptops for use with Windows 8 instead of using a touch for example, a touch screen. With, with um, the eye toward like assistive technologies helping disable people and stuff right. like that. And they've kind of pivoted to use the same eye tracking technology, but to now have an actual hardware product for games. So this is absolutely you can buy right now. Their partner is Steel Series, the $200 eye tracker, but the demo is here. I'm gonna try the demo right now. I'm gonna run you through the calibration and talk it through. So what it is is basically there's a bar that you have below, uh, below the monitor here. Yeah, those are eyes. Those are my eyes. Blink, um, blink the right eye. Right eye, there we go. Left See? eye? Left eye. That's amazing. Wow, it's like I'm at no, the... I'm in, I'm in. Give me, where's my $200? Uh, it's, it's like uh, I'm at the eye doctor. Um, and uh, the sensor is an IR sensor. There are three IR lights, and to calibrate, you just stare at nine dots. Um, it needs to be below the screen, so that's why they have it working on a laptop right now, but it can work on a desktop, I asked, and you could use it for something like a 30-inch monitor. And it works even no though problem. you have glasses on, right? It works even though I have, no even though I have glasses on, and it basically is looking at the whites in your eyes and uh, the distance between your eyes. And so now I'm supposedly calibrated. I can actually move my head further back, but I'm looking at, tell me tell me a place to look, Will. Lower left, upper right, left right. Uh, left right? That's Down not, up, uh, middle, uh, middle right, middle left. It's, it's scattering. You can tell that the refresh rate is pretty good, um, but the way your eyes move, and anyone who's been to one of those science museums that does eye tracking, you know that your eyes are pretty, it's scattershot. Like they you're, bounce you're, around. They really bounce around. So it really is up to the software to see, to, to kind of temper that and to give you a, a sense of purpose. Now the accuracy of this is supposed to be, they say about a thumb's width, so about two centimeters. And in games, they do have a game actually, um, I'm gonna close this, that they load up. This is a tech demo. In games, a third person action game, you have your mouse control and you have your movement control. You can now use your eye tracking, for example, to pick up that rock. Whoa! Now, Will, tell me, uh, give me a point on a place in the screen where I'm going to throw this rock. Uh, I want you to throw it at that tree. There it goes. Your hands on the mouse. How can I tell that you're not cheating using the mouse? Because I'm, I'm moving. I'm looking what? in one Is that direction. A dead lizard man. That's. I, I want to move throw it this straight up in the air. I can move. Pick up the fire. Uh, I can't pick up the. Oh, oh I can't. You can. Let's see if I want to throw a fireball Cast right there. Cast magic missile. Uh, that's what I can throw. Throw it, throw it at the third dune on the left. Right there. That, that Oh, you got a rock? Okay, so I pick a rock up. Let's say I want to okay. throw it right there. Let's see how accurate that is. I'm looking right there right now. Wow. Oh, that's okay. Pick up the giant carrot. Now throw let's, it at the dinosaur bones. Let's say the dinosaur bones right there. Right here. I'm not moving the mouse at all. I'm looking at it. You have to press the button to fire. And I'm right. pressing the button to fire. Kind of a weak arm there, Norm. Okay, so this is obviously a tech demo game that they built just to show this off. Right, and I can foresee that, I don't see this use, being used for aiming, for example, like a first person shooter. I could see being used as an alternative to existing technologies like Track IR, which is something that does head tracking mm -hmm. for a game like a, a cockpit simulator, like Elite Dangerous, where if I'm not wearing a head tracking device or doing head tracking, I can use it to look at UI elements. So if you're not wearing VR goggles, you're looking at a traditional monitor. I can use it to activate a menu on the left, a menu on the right. I can uh, try to highlight chips in my UI to complement that. Uh, they do have a real world application that's available now though. Right, and that's something they have demoed here. It's right here. Which is uh, for game streaming. Yeah, so uh, for people who play Dota 2 or StarCraft and stream, uh, they have software built up that hooks into OBS, the Open Broadcasting System, I think is what that stands for. Um, and it's a, the free software that most people use to stream. And right now, a uh, Dota 2 player named Shiver, who apparently is a famous Dota 2 player, I don't follow Dota 2, um, is streaming. And what, what, the, what this does is lets people who are watching the stream see actually what she's looking at as she plays. So things like checking the minimap, looking at the place where the action is, where she's fighting, versus where other people are doing things nearby, and then back to the minimap and all that. I talked to another professional Dota 2 player who basically said, look, you should be looking at the minimap less every 10 seconds or less, um, and kind of keeping up to 200 and 250 actions per moment. So it's kind of equivalent to APM, but, but also not really in StarCraft. Uh, right now they have overlays for Dota 2 and StarCraft. Theoretically, you'll be able to use the overlay with any game, uh, but the post-game stats only show up for Dota 2 and StarCraft right now. Right. And that hardware there, that's the box. Their partner, like I said, is it's SteelSeries. 
Uh, this is on sale now, it's $200, but I think it's a little expensive, but because there's no real games like Elite mentioned, that'll probably come out later this year. Like if you're a pro streamer and you want to give your people on your stream something else to look at, you know, if, if you're Bananasaurus Rex and want to see where people are looking when you're playing Spelunky, there you go, right? Apparently not for normal people quite yet. Right, not yet. Uh, there is Unreal uh, mm -hmm. and Unity uh, SDKs uh, implementation, so, you know, who, who knows? Maybe at GDC, maybe at E3, we'll see more games that have this built in. But eye tracking, I think, you can't think of head tracking as the only thing, right? Head tracking is cool, but I think head tracking, in addition to eye tracking, is where we'll see VR games The, the thing that matters is where your eyes are. I, I think it's more interesting, probably, than, than head tracking. Uh, we'll have more from CES all week. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye. You can throw that big carrot, but you can throw that rock really far.